Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Gaming Night. Got a package in the mail here, so we're gonna get right into this and unbox this sucker. Okay, wow. Okay, this box is huge. Okay. <laughs> Says, uh, let us know if anything's missing. So, holy cow! I don't think anything's been missing that I know of. Okay, so we got H. H. Holmes Murder Castle, Crimes and History. And this has got the second story expansion included. So we're going to get into this unboxing and try, try to show you as much as I can without having a too long of a video. All right. So we got the rule book as usual so it's got it looks like it's got some nice illustrations in there to help with the, the game there so that's nice it has some pictures and illustrations it always makes the games easier and then we got the tiles here so these opened up pretty quick no issue here. Boop. So, tiles are pretty thick. Let's put them back. So they punch out really nice. Nice thick cardstock. These are really nice. <clears throat> so yeah, these are kind of like the Betrayal House on the Hill where the house gets laid out as you play it so it's these tiles break out really nice and don't have any issues breaking these out which is a nice thing and i'm gonna keep <coughs> these aside because sometimes they tell you you need to keep these there's these other sets i probably got them upside down sorry so there's those so yeah there's the Some rooms, I guess, have like things that they do, and others they don't. They're all labeled or yeah, labeled, numbered, and have the names on it as well. What they are. So there's those. Those came out good too. Put those in there. Then we got some more tiles here. So these are the blank ones. So I don't know if the blank ones are even used. You know, sometimes they give you extra pieces that are just blank, just so they, they don't waste the printing skew. Or whatever they call these things. But yeah, these all came out pretty nice. None of them teared, which is always a good thing. That's one of the rooms of fixation. The White Chapel Suite. So yeah, these are all like tiles. Five door room. <laughs> Side. They gave us some baggies. And then we got some more chits here. So these look like these are supposed to go as the main hall because they spell out Murder Castle. Yep, these are the starting pieces, it seems.
And there's the guy that we're I think we're trying to capture evidence on. And then these are the little chip, tiny chip pieces. They're really small, so I'm going to show you guys in a second here. Set this aside. These are really tiny little um, pieces there. So they have those. The lock, looks like those are locks. These are plus and minus one tokens. So they're on one side they're plus, the other side they're minus. Nice thick components there. Oh, I guess they weren't. Okay, that's plus on both. Okay, I thought it was plus and minus. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, these are the actions that you can do. You got move up to two rooms. Selection bonus move to one additional room. So basically you can move up to three rooms if you want to select this tile. Move into one room. Advance the Ferris wheel by one position clockwise. Move into one room. Move to one, move into one additional room if you other one has selected it. Move homes. Selecting player only. Selection bonus. Evade homes from this turn's movement. So selecting player only gets to move homes. Collect evidence. Collect one additional piece of evidence. So you get two instead of one. Explore a castle, and of course, explore one extra room in the castle. Then there's draw an event card, or and then you get to draw two event cards if you the one that selects it. And then we got the characters and the other stuff in here. So, all right, let's see where we can find the little flappy flappy. Let's open the spot. Okay, there we go. So far, the quality of the components are seem really nice. <clears throat> we got the, I think it was the deluxe edition we got or something. So now we got these little tokens here. Looks like furniture tiles and stuff. Like stuff you'd see like in you know the child's of patrol on the hill and all that like hiding places and stuff like that That looks like a map or something. Then it's got this on the other side. So it might be these might be the players' special powers. Yeah, looks like these are players' special powers, or they're they're for the um, placing onto the tie onto the choice selection. But yeah, each one uses a certain character. So. Those and that, so that's probably just like I said. It's probably to let you know when your character moved or took your action, so you can keep track of it. <clears throat> so these must be special tiles again, like with. Maybe it's for some, I guess I don't know what all this stuff is for yet, so. But that's how it goes. So the joys of actually unboxing something. <laughs> you get to find, see everything out for the first time, you know. It's like, what's this? And these are all the characters. Character standees, so so they all got different looks to them. Obviously, 
Then we got the laboratory shelf there. So then you got some more tiles. These are probably tiles for like the uh, certain things. Like, because they got all these tiles here. They got this is a floor tile. Then you got more more of these and some of these. So yeah. And you got the bag. Wow, that's cool. Nice little bag there. Oh, wow, that's pretty neat. Holmes's control panel. So I know that's probably when you're playing as him. It's probably when you're playing as... And these are all the loose tokens. I'm not going to punch these all out. These are like really tiny. I don't want to lose those right now. <clears throat> okay, and these are pillars. Man, there's a lot of stuff in this game, I'm telling you. I didn't expect to have this much stuff in this, that's for sure. So I never throw these cardboard things away until I know they don't need them anymore. All right, now we got the actual player characters. So these are really nice boards. They got the recessed things where the so the things don't come out. That is really nice. That's the other character there. You can even play this game solo. So, which is another plus. Boom. There's another character there. I like these boards. And there's that. And this is the Ferris wheel. That lays flat, I believe. I think. Or does it have a stand? Hmm. It looks like it would stay stay standing up, but. Yeah, I think so. I'll have to look at the rules, but it looks like this might stand up straight up instead of laying flat. I don't know. Got a lot of stuff here. So. These look like these are all of. Yeah. Steal all. Steal all hidden book passageway. Move into one room using doorways. So these must be like for. Automated for when you're playing uh, solo. Little deck of cards that tell you what he's gonna do. So then we got all the. These are the actual evidence colors, and I'm sure the false evidence is probably the black one, probably. And there's some more in there. Then we got another bag. This is the fake evidence going in this bag, so that would be the black one. So they go into that bag, and then we got 
decks of cards here. Like I said, they've got a lot of stuff in this. So yeah, this is an interesting So yeah, it's basically like you're trying to incriminate other, trying to get out while So these are like the ones you, these are the ones that you start with your cubes. Looks like there's some more. So these must be the automated, oh, the second expansion. Second history. These are event, these must be event cards. Yeah, these must be events. So. I'm trying to figure out what these are for though. I know that the other ones tell you what cube someone starts with. Being those are all the same order. Can't be special. We're getting there to the nitty gritty now. <laughs> Last deck of cards here. So yeah, I wish I knew more like what all these things are. Okay. Holmes is on the move. Cards. You choose from there. So Yeah, this one's Holmes on a rampage, which does more movements and stuff. Oh, okay, those must be the spiller then. Okay, so these Okay, yeah, these are each character gets yeah one of these. This is their goal. They need to get two blueprints. Seems like everyone gets ten. Oh wow. Yeah, so each one's gonna have a, a special goal that they gotta reach. I bet you that's what that the other one's for is probably to cover it. That's what I'm guessing. The other ones to cover this so that players can't see what they are and. So you can peek when you need to. That's what I'm guessing. So that other card must be to cover these up. So these are probably used to cover it up so no one can see yours. And then if you want to look and see what it is, you can just kind of look at it yourself without no one else seeing it. So. That'd be my guess. Could be wrong. <clears throat> like I said, I haven't got a chance to play. Lucky breaks. People, you discover people, play this card. 
to peek through the wall of any other adjacent room and view all event cards from each player in that room. That's kind of nice. So yeah, they've got all these, a lot of stuff in this game. I mean, it, it's got a lot of meat to it. <laughs> so. Wow. So there's a lot of, this game's got a lot of meat. Ooh. This even got a little reference sheet. And I love when they do that. That makes the game so much easier to teach. So that's everything you get for the cards. And then last but not least. Ugh. We got two new, uh, two other items. We got the first player marker. This is a nice key. It's kind of cool. Um, and then we got uh, all the characters with standees. So I can put that one there. This one there, so you guys can. Hopefully, you see these guys. Oops. So yeah, there's the, the guys. So each one of these is um. Instead of a standee, so that's kind of nice if I can start repaint these things. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing this whether it's if it's so whether it's solo or with a group soon. Like I said, I got a lot of games to play though, solo board games. So <clears throat> I've been trying to get to you guys and start playing. So probably gonna do some simple stuff to start with. Probably be the one game. I have been wanting to play for a while. <clears throat> so, we got one of our Kickstarters finally came in. So, we got other ones that are on their way, and then one that's further out. Actually, we got a few more coming soon. They're on their way. It's just uh, deliveries are behind. So, but I was not expecting this one today. <clears throat> so, once again, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you guys another with another arcade or something soon. Bye.